Hello and welcome to this video. In this particular video, we are going to basically look at how beginners can start trading penny stocks. There is a lot of myth around penny stocks that penny stocks are all scams and they can never be profitable and they are highly risky to trade. So I am basically going to use this video and debunk all of those myths and give a starting point for anybody who is looking to trade penny stocks. Essentially, penny stocks are one of the uh, easiest ways for people to get started if they have a small account because if you want to trade in options and you want to trade some of the expensive stocks like tesla or even google and amazon even after the splits you need at least ten thousand dollars and if you want to maintain diversification then you need at least a forty fifty thousand uh, dollar portfolio which everybody doesn't have so trading stocks which are cheap is not necessarily risky and trading stocks which are expensive is not necessarily the safe way to trade so let's get started in this particular video we'll take a quick look at the definition of penny stocks and this is going to be a practical definition this is not going to be the bookish definition because my objective is not to teach you how to trade stocks which trade below one dollar or below five dollars but it is more or less to align this value with the size of your account if you have a five thousand dollar account then the penny stock definition for you will be under a certain price and if you have a ten thousand dollar account it will be at a different price so we'll look at that practical definition which basically makes sure you can effectively trade the stocks and still maintain diversification in your portfolio the second thing is i'll point out all the risks that are involved in trading penny stocks and these are essentially risks which are involved in trading rest of the stocks as well but penny stocks have some, some special uh, things which we need to look at so i'll call out those as well then i'll discuss the screener for the penny stocks so basically when you want to trade any stocks you need to figure out which stocks to trade right so this is the screener settings we'll be using the finvest platform here so the screener settings we'll see and we'll come up with the list of stocks that you can trade the fourth thing is uh, I'll lay down the step by step procedure that you can use to start trading penny stocks. So anybody who's looking to just get started can actually follow the step by step procedure with no confusions and with no doubts. And if anything is not covered here, which you feel uh, you want to ask me, you can actually leave them down in the comments. If it's a small query, I'll answer it there and then in the comments. And if it's, uh, it's something which uh, uh, warrants a new video, I can always create a new video and add more information there. So before we proceed, a quick look at the disclaimer, which essentially states that any information that I'm giving you here is only for entertainment purposes. It is not any kind of trading or investment advice. If you plan to trade or invest your money, then please understand the risks before doing so and get in touch with a financial certified financial advisor who can help you uh, with your trading and investment decisions. So first thing is defining penny stocks the practical way and this is where I'm not going to tell you penny stocks by definition are stocks which trade below five dollars or penny stocks which uh, are, are stocks which trade below one dollar. No, that is not the point of this video. So let's understand it this way. Let's understand that somebody has just a two thousand dollar account right so now in a two thousand dollar account. You cannot have ideal amount of diversification where you invest only 5% of your portfolio into a single stock because if you try to do that you're basically going to invest a very small amount in every stock uh, just hundred dollars which is not going to be meaningful so i'm going to essentially put in two things one we are going to trade with options and second condition that i'm going to put is we want to at least have four or five stocks in our portfolio that will basically mean that there is some level of diversification in the portfolio so if one position loses money it doesn't mean that everything else also starts losing money you don't lose your entire account so if you have a two thousand dollar total portfolio right in that case uh, four stocks will mean that you can allocate five hundred dollars to each and every position now one contract one option contract is a hundred shares so if five hundred dollars can be allocated to one position then for hundred shares the per share price can be a max of five dollars so that is how you calculate what is the definition of a penny stock for you essentially you cannot trade any of the big names for trading tesla stocks if you want to sell one option let's say you want to sell a put option it's trading around 700 800 dollars right now you will need approximately 70 80 thousand dollars in your account everybody doesn't have that so come up with your own definition of penny stocks uh, try to look for stocks which are at such a price point that one you can trade option contracts that means you can at least deal with 100 shares of that stock and second condition is you should at least have four to five positions in your portfolio the more the better uh, obviously the more the better doesn't mean that you have 100 positions but ideally you should have somewhere between 10 to 20 positions in your portfolio but if you're a beginner you have a very small account then obviously you are limited to holding lesser number of positions so a minimum of four positions is what i would advise that you should have so let's 
uh, take one more example before we proceed further let's say instead of two thousand dollars you have five thousand dollars in your trading account now in order to have five positions you can basically invest thousand dollars into every position so thousand dollars means for trading one contract that means 100 shares you can allocate thousand dollars so your per share price will be a max of ten dollars so you need to trade in stocks which are ten dollars or less if instead of five you are okay with four positions then you can increase that you can do the same calculation again and you will see that will come out to twelve and a half dollars per share so basically objective just to summarize once again is that even in a small portfolio you should have enough number of positions to allow for diversification and because i personally trade with options and if you want to do it the same way you need to buy at least 100 shares of the stock so the price per share accordingly you need to calculate the next thing is what is what are the cautions that you need to trade uh, you need to take while trading penny stocks so one thing i want to make it clear is penny stocks are no different from regular stocks as long as you're trading with stocks that are listed on the exchange so we have that as one of the points here i'll explain what i mean by that but the due diligence that you need to do for penny stocks is pretty much the same you need to do for other stocks as well so penny stocks because there have been a lot of scams around penny stocks in the past because people have lost money because they don't understand the stock market in general penny stocks have kind of uh, some of negative some of the negativity around them but um, more or less whatever checks you need to carry out for penny stocks you need to do for the other stocks as well so the first thing is trade penny stocks only with high liquidity and so i could have changed this statement to stay to simply say trade stocks with high liquidity because even if it's something is not a penny stock let's say it's trading at 60 70 dollars a share it doesn't mean if it doesn't have liquidity you start trading that stock basically any illiquid stocks you should always avoid why because you will have too much of slippages that means whenever you want to buy and sell uh, you will not be able to buy and sell the shares at the price at which you want it because there is not enough liquidity in the market and the second thing is you can sometimes get stuck with positions because if the average volume is 200000 uh, shares at least then on the low volume days you will at least have 40 50000 uh, shares trading so if you have a position of a couple of 100 shares you can easily buy or sell them but if the average volume itself is 10000 shares on a bad day when volumes are really low the stock may trade just 500 shares in a day and in that case if you are holding 1000 2000 shares you cannot basically trade them so liquidity is the first thing so basically make sure that you don't touch any stocks penny stocks or non penny stocks do not touch any stocks which have a volume of less than 200 uh, 1000 shares being traded or uh, average uh, daily volume should be more than 200000 shares the second thing is trade penny stocks which have a market cap of at least 100 million dollars now why is this important let's say um, you are trading into a stock which just has a 10 million dollar market cap now what's possible is that somebody who's trying to just pump and dump this stock can invest 1 million dollars into this company by purchasing shares of the company now understand from a market cap point of view that there are a lot of people who have a million dollars to uh, invest into this kind of a practice so what will happen is all of a sudden uh, the market cap of the company is uh, 10 million dollars 1 million additionally has gone in to purchase shares which is a big amount it's 10 percent of the existing market cap so the price is going to shoot up and then if the person who's done this starts dumping the shares people who purchase the shares because they saw the price going up will be uh, left holding the bag but if the market cap is at least 100 million dollars or 200 million dollars then in order to have the same 10 percent impact somebody needs to bring in 10 20 million dollars and 20 million dollars is not something which is lying around for somebody so chances of such a scheme getting executed are lesser so pump and dump schemes only work with stocks which have low liquidity and also low market capitalization if you take care of these two aspects then you are basically safe from these kind of scams where somebody is promoting a stock pumping up the price so that uh, the retail investors also get in and then all of a sudden they sell the stock exit their positions and the retail investors are left holding the stocks which they purchased at a higher price and now the stock is trading much lower so you can avoid these kind of things by making sure that you take care of the first two points here the third thing is like any other stock please check the fundamentals before investing into any company because all we are doing with penny stocks is we are selecting stocks which have a low price so that we can trade them with a small account besides that we don't want to trade in stocks which are fundamentally not good when i say fundamentally you have to look at their balance sheets their income statements their cash flow statements you have to see their growth uh, ratios you have to see their return on assets the solvency ratios 
you have to basically analyze the balance sheet and see if it is strong enough is there a chance that the company can go into bankruptcy you have to look at the quality of the management you have to see what business the company is in do you understand that business is is this business having a good moat or is it that the competition will just eat them up eventually so all these things all the checks that we do fundamentally to see uh, make before making an investment in any other company have to be done for uh, these companies as well the difference will be because these are penny stocks these companies may not be popular so they may not have the kind of coverage or uh, the articles written about them by a lot of bloggers and analysts and all that so you will have to download the 10k statements which these companies file with the sec and go through them so ready made information i mean if you today search for something like tesla or meta or google you will find recommendations from tens of analysts so you don't have to go through the entire 100 page document to understand what this company filed with the sec but for penny stocks because analysts may not be covering them right so you have to do hard work you have to go through the actual documents and understand that but the information is all out there you ha just have to do your do your uh, due diligence and maybe the information will not be available in a ready made format you will have to go through the documents and understand the details by yourself uh, the fourth point this is very very important is do not trade any penny stocks which trade on the otc market now what is the otc market penny stocks they can trade on exchanges like nasdaq and nyse and they can trade on something called the otc market also the main risk is if you trade stocks on the otc market and the reason is because in order to get listed on an exchange every company has to do a lot of filings they have to provide a lot of regulatory uh, procedures basically they have to provide a lot of information which if there is a scam company out there will not be willing to provide so those kind of companies will only trade on the otc market so if you are trading stocks on the otc market they are basically less regulated they are not checked properly they may not even be audited properly because they don't have to certify or comply with any of the regulations that the exchanges uh, put so today if i open a company and i have an ipo i can uh, not list my shares on the stock exchange unless i meet their statutory requirements that i need to publish my financial statements every quarter i need to um, basically get my financial statements audited by an auditor so all those checks are ensured by the exchanges so if you see a company which is listed on an exchange that is something you should trade if you see a company which is not listed on the exchange please do not trade those stocks do not trade penny stocks which are on the otc market the next thing that i want to clarify along with this point is that sometimes companies are listed on the exchanges but then over a period of time they stop filing their uh, financial statements and so they will be taken off the exchange so always make sure when you're investing in penny stocks to check that what is the last financial statement submitted by the company and the, these companies are not they are given i think uh, about 6 months or an year of warning before they uh, are taken off the exchange so if nyse sees that a particular company is not filing their uh, quarterly financial reports they will give them a year to comply to basically comply and file those reports if they still don't do that then they will basically move them to the otc market they will uh, not list the stock anymore on the exchange so make sure that when you are trading with penny stocks you are consistently checking that every quarter whenever the financial statements should be released are actually being released then the last point is do not fall for any promotions or scams do your own analysis because people sometimes they will promote stocks they have no idea what the company does all they are doing is they bought the stock at a low price now they are pumping the stock and using their popularity maybe their fame to pump up the price of the stock and have a lot of positive word around the stock in the market so that all retail investors get in they buy the stock the price goes up and then they will dump the shares in the market so always and this is not just for penny stocks this is for any stock the only thing is that for big companies multi billion dollar companies it is very difficult for a scammer to pump up the price because how many shares will uh, such a scammer be able to buy right but on small companies with low market cap with low liquidity this is easily possible so make sure you're doing your due, due diligence and if you cover all these points you're basically mitigating most of the risk associated with penny stocks so now that we have covered it the next step is for people who are big, uh, wanting to basically start uh, to trade penny stocks is to identify which stocks should you trade right so for that you need to go to the finwis platform if you're not aware of it finwis i have a complete playlist around finwis so you can go and watch that playlist you will see lot of screeners so finwis basically allows you to screen stocks by different criteria and i already have another video which i'll link in the description which is the finwis screener settings for penny stocks 
so you can go watch that video in it details uh, all the steps that i uh, follow and how do you basically arrive at the companies that you can effectively trade for penny stocks i'm not going to cover the screener settings exactly here i've put a screenshot of the video i've put a screenshot of the finverse platform and so you will get an idea here just click on the video uh, watch it there and basically it will show you the step-by-step -step settings that i do on the screener and the list of the stocks that i got when i did it uh, while recording the video so you can try and do the same settings today and see what stocks get listed so that is how you basically identify the universe of stocks which you can trade so take those stocks and you further study them look at their 10k statements do some fundamental analysis see the sectors in which they are trading so do your due, due diligence and if you feel that those stocks are good investment opportunities then you can basically take trades in them or you can invest your money so this is a step-by-step -step procedure for beginners. So any beginners who are looking to trade penny stocks, uh, first thing is you need a brokerage account. Now, if you have a small account, I would suggest that you go for a commission-free brokerage uh, like Robinhood or something, or even, you can even go with um, the non-commission-free brokerages because brokerage right now is not very, very high. But uh, the thing is that because you're starting with a small account you don't want to spend too much money on brokerage charges so i will leave i'm not recommending any specific broker every brokers have their plus and minuses so please check different brokers that are available to you and which one is the best suited for your requirements so first thing you need is a brokerage account second thing when you open a brokerage account is you need to apply for options trading so by default lot of brokerages don't provide options trading and you don't need any kind there are three levels of option trading level one two three three is the most advanced two is intermediate and level one is the beginner so it's pretty easy to get the level one beginner uh, options trading access and that is all you need because in my strategy that i follow i only sell option premium so i'm selling ports and i'm selling calls i don't do any other complicated option strategies so if you want to follow my strategy you don't need advanced options access or even intermediate options access you just need the level one basic options access which is not very difficult to get you just need to talk to your broker maybe take some training around options and show that you have some experience and some understanding of how options work and once you have that you will be able to get that access the second thing is that you need to select the penny stocks which you want to trade so for that i've already given you a video which we saw in the last slide you can watch that video that will give you the complete settings i didn't want to make this video too long so i have a separate video with the screener settings that will basically give you the list of the stocks that you can potentially trade uh, using the uh penny stock screener so, so you look at that video figure out the stocks uh, that come out today uh, the third thing that i do is i sell put options on those stocks so let's say one of the penny stocks that i came up with after my analysis was et energy transfer and right now let's say I'm, i don't know what the exact price is but let's say it's trading at around nine dollars and sixty cents so what i can do is i can go and sell the nine dollar puts or eight dollar puts on this stock so what this means is i'll collect let's say 30 40 cents of premium and if i sold the nine dollar puts what it essentially means is that if the price stays above nine dollars then nothing happens that 30 40 cents of premium per share is mine to keep if in case the price falls below nine dollars then i will be forced to buy the shares of the company at nine dollars but because i collected a 40 dollar premium my effective price is 8.6 per share so that way you can basically sell put option sell option premium to lower your cost basis and acquire shares in good companies fundamentally good companies uh, and and basically trade them like any other stocks that you're trading if you're not aware of this strategy i'll leave a link in the description again and you can also visit my community tab where i list down all my trades that i'm taking and uh, basically you need to watch some of the other videos on my channel to understand my overall trading strategy but more or less if i want to simply explain my trading strategy it is selling option premium so stocks that i want to own i basically sell puts on them so that i end up eventually buying them at a, a, a price that i'm willing to pay for it and stocks that i already have in my portfolio i basically sell covered calls on them to collect option premium so both these strategies involve selling option premium and that is what basically i do so you can do that and one recommendation that i have is that if you're just getting started you're just beginning try this out with paper trading that means don't do it with actual money do it with fake money so i know td ameritrade provides a paper trading account a lot of other platforms are there which will provide a paper trading account you can even start trading these on an excel sheet because with paper trading your essential agenda is to understand 
the concepts and not use actual money for trading immediately because you can make some mistakes initially so you don't want to learn those mistakes by losing actual money you want to learn and correct those mistakes when with fake money or with virtual money uh, first so start with paper trading then start with a very small amount uh, and and as you gain experience you can increase the capital in your account so with this if you follow these steps i think uh, all that information that you need to just get started with penny stocks i have covered that if anything is left out please leave the queries in the comment section and i will definitely respond to you and if it is required i can even create a separate video on some query which is large enough that it warrants a separate video of its own so this is something i have been calling out in a couple of my videos now so i am listing my trades that i am taking for free without any charges on the community tab of my channel so whenever i take a trade within the next few minutes maybe half an hour 15 minutes 20 minutes i put that trade on the community tab and uh, the status is open because i have just taken that trade and whenever i close a trade i again post the trade uh, and i mentioned that the trade has been closed this is an earlier trade which is closed now and basically we keep a tra track of the overall profit and loss uh, that i am making on those trades so if you want to access those trades if you want to follow my trades to enhance your learning along with the concepts that i explain in my videos you can basically go to the community tab of my channel and uh, follow those trades one thing that i want to call out is i try to put the trades as fast as possible so i if i take a trade just now within the next 5 10 minutes i try to put the trade on the community tab now i my i trade uh, in a longer term uh, time frame so most of my trades are swing trades where i hold the trades for at least 2 to somewhere between 40 50 days in this range so if, even if you don't look at the trade immediately it is still going to be a valid trade for a lot of days because i am into swing trading not into day trading but still uh, if you want to immediately get notified of the trades all you have to do is just subscribe to the channel because if you subscribe to the channel what will happen is as soon as i create a post on the community tab i put the trade there you will immediately get notified so if you've not already done it go subscribe to the channel so that you immediately get notified of any trades that i'm taking and i'm putting on the community tab so thanks a lot for your time and if you like the video please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so subscribing to the channel will as i said will also let you receive the trade uh, notification about any trades that i'm posting immediately and if there is any comment or suggestions regarding improving the content on this channel regarding improving uh, the quality of the channel about any other topics that you want me to cover please let me know in the comment section share this with your family and friends if you found this useful and i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you for your time